Hi, this is Liz Alexander. I'm a CPA and Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor with a practice in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And what we're going to look at now is the period copy with condensed feature in QuickBooks Accountant 2012. You're going to use this feature when you need to exclude a set of transactions and pull them out to make their own data file. What we're going to do first is click on the File menu. We're going to go down to Utilities. We're going to choose Condensed Data. When we click that, we get three options. We can remove transactions before a specific date. We can remove all transactions. Or we can remove transactions outside of a date range so we can isolate specific ranges of transactions. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click here, and we're able to enter our transactions. And let's say for purposes of this exercise, we want to get um, transactions for the first six months of this year. So I'm going to put in my date, January 1st through June 30th. And I'm going to click Next. I get a few more options. Next, it wants to know how transactions should be summarized. Again, we have three options with one recommended. The first recommended option replaces all of the transactions before our first date with one single journal entry. That's what most people will use. The second option gives you a summer journal entry for each month for all transactions before that first date we entered. And that was the uh, default selection in prior versions of this feature. The third option is not to create any summary journal entries at all. And you want to be careful using that because you're going to have to go back and enter beginning balances manually. So we're going to choose the recommended option because all we want are transactions between 1-1 and 6-30, but we want to know what our balances were before. So that's checked, and I'm going to click Next. It wants to know now if I want to summarize my inventory transactions or keep the details. We're going to summarize the transactions because we want to condense as much as possible. And then it's offering to let me remove transactions and items that are no longer needed. For example, if we have old unreconciled transactions, or to be printed or to be sent. You can select any, all, or none of these. We're going to leave it right where it is and click Next. Next, it asks which list entries we'd like to eliminate. If we're truly condensing this file, then once we get rid of all of those old entries, lots of the vendor names and items will not be used again, and it will actually remove those for us to give us a cleaner file. So we're going to leave those, but you can select any or all, and we're going to click Next. And now it reminds you, this might take a while. Um, it depends on the size of your data file. A very long data file can take quite a while. Do know that your company data is backed up. QuickBooks makes a full copy before removing anything. So we're going to click the Begin Condense button. QuickBooks Archives, and I'm working with a really small file here, so it archives fairly quickly. And what we have now is information from QuickBooks that it has removed the old data successfully, but also letting us know that there is an archive copy with every single piece of data located with the date and the name copy and gives you the file location. When we click OK, we are back in our QuickBooks file. And that is the period copy with condensed feature.